All right, so even though it's yeah. breakfast time, we're going to be talking about lunch. Yes. And how to do it on the cheap. So right. what are the tips here? Okay, so um, my big thing is I'd like to create a zero waste lunch for my kids because um, a lot of times if you use the paper bags or little plastic baggies, you throw those out every single day. It creates, uh, creates a lot of waste. It's expensive to continue to buy those things mm -hmm. every day. So I um, like to use reusable items when I'm packing my kids' lunches. And I see you have a variety of stuff here. So why don't we yes. walk... Why don't you walk us through what you have? Okay, well, a lot of people really like using stainless steel mm -hmm. because it's easy to clean and it lasts forever. My son took this particular thing to lunch every single day last year, and mm -hmm. it still looks, you know, it's got many years of wear left on it. Um, and it's actually pretty... Here, where can we see this? Yeah. It's really cute. It's a little... Um, oh, it's wow. It's got compartments. Holy smokes. And um, so I would put the sandwich in this part, in the bigger part, and then maybe some fruit and maybe a treat or some cheese wow. or something in there. And, and I see you labeled each one too. Yes, you Very can important. label everything <laughs> <laughs> or things get lost. Um, if you don't want to go that route, um, I have these um, small stainless steel um, jars from Kids Conserve. Okay. And um, these are really handy for bringing, these are, those are my CSA yeah. plums in there right now. Yeah, I like it, hey. Um, for bringing snacks on the go. So I really like those. Um, I know these laptop lunches, these mm -hmm. bento box type of lunches are really popular um, because a lot of kids won't sit there and eat like a sandwich and an apple, but they'll eat cheese and crackers or pretzels and hummus or something like that, or mm -hmm. carrot sticks and, and dip. And this has all the little compartments that you would use for um, a lot of smaller And do you items. find this easy to clean? Yes, it's, it's okay. really easy to clean. This can just go in the dishwasher. Oh, great. In fact, all of this can go in the dishwasher. Dishwasher safe. Yes. Very nice. So what else, what do we have over here? Well, um, instead of using the plastic baggies, I like to use reusable bags. Right. Um, these are super easy to clean. They're fabric, and then they have, um, they have like a it's not plastic, but it's a food grade type of um, water repellent material inside. Nice, I like the coating there. Yeah, and then I just got these. Wow, these I've from, never seen those before. No, I, they just came in the mail. They're from Rezip, mm -hmm. um, and they are just basically a plastic bag, but they're reusable. Hey. Easy to wash. Yeah, I like it. And I always use uh, reusable utensils, like if you send in a yogurt or something. Mm -hmm. I like to use the ones that you get from the frozen yogurt place. I just keep up. Bamboo um, reusable fork slash spoon. I like it. Yeah. I like it. You know, the only thing I'm missing is those cool little lunch boxes that we used to use with like the superheroes yes. on there. I know. But there were no compartments. It was just one big. Right. Just one big thing for your lunch to rattle around. Yeah, in. I know. Yeah. This keeps everything <laughs> nice and separate. Hey, yeah. uh, as always, uh, where can people find more information? Because it's not just lunches. You do a lot of different stuff. Right. Um, you can find me on mindfullyfrugalmom.com or on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Instagram. I'm everywhere. You're, you're everywhere. <laughs> hey, real quick, uh, obviously this is for food. Right. You want to talk briefly about yeah, liquids? Yeah, I, um, I always use a reusable um, cup for drinking because drink boxes are really expensive. Yeah. And they're usually just full of sh so I love it. I usually just... My oh. kid brought it every day. It's a little beat up, but still functional. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome.